This is the Starbucks one month overview reading for October 2022. It's currently September 26, 2022, 8.43 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, the overall theme and behavior for the month of October, we have a sideways fluctuation with a bearish trend that precedes a rally. So a rally the following, some point in the following month. It does look like uh, the sneak preview card shows a decline that increases with momentum moving in forward in time. Um, and an opportunity to open up a long position in the midst of a decline based on that Princess of Cups energy. Um, so I think probably what happens is that that decline continues into November, but at some point in November we ha we have a turnaround. Um, now the theme energy, the sideways fluctuation with the bearish trip, it also uh, is crossed with uh, bullish price swings. So there's quite a bit of like contradictory stuff going on here. When I look at the overall reading, it's an abbreviated version of the one month. I took out a few cards to save some time. But when I look at it in comparison to the one month for the S&P 500 or a lot of the other Octobers, um, I'm able to extrapolate. There's quite a few things that are very similar. So we, we start out the month um, on the third with a high. Oh, before I get into that. So uh, the behavior on the month's high, we have, uh, we're bound by a range. So there's, there's a range on a one month scale or a, or a year to date scale, there's a range. We hit the upper end of that range um, and we, we stay we stay within the range. Um, behavior around the low, we have a rally off of the low, but that rally offers an opportunity to open up a short position. So very bearish to see the Princess of Wands in the low correlation position. Um, it means that we're gonna see lower lows the following month, and that would make sense based on the sneak preview card as well. All right, so on the third, we start off with a, with a high. Um, there's a trade opportunity right at the beginning of the day. Um, looks like uh, to open up a short position. Um, and we see some sideways rotation with a sharp dip in the midst of that sideways rotation. On the fourth, we have a, a, a low. There's a, there's a prominent low or trough there on the fourth. And a big move out of that low that'll stand out. Like a, a big move out of the low that'll stand out on the one month chart. Um, a male ruler is highlighted on the the fifth um, and we should see more decline on the fifth uh, probably with some price swings in there actually uh, and then um, another swing trade opportunity on the sixth in the midst of sideways rotation along a key support level on a one month chart on the seventh some um, sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend preceding a rally um, we see a decline to and through a support level um, we meet a second support level and then we rotate sideways along that. Um, very likely that we have a high here. Um, around, the se around the 7th, if not the 7th, then we likely see a high here around the 10th or 11th. Possibly the 12th, but like that's it. Um, the 10th, we have the, the end of a rally. Um, and then uh, on the 11th, early in the day, it looks like or overnight, matter of fact, there's a breakout overnight, a gap up, um, and we fall pretty sharp on the 11th. Swing, there's like a, there's a price swing in there, a pretty wild price swing in there between the 10th and the 12th, most likely on the 11th. Um, and there's like possibly a high, there's possibly a high in there, the 10th or the 11th, but there's also a low in there. Um, and then it gets lower. It goes on the 12th. We have a failed attempt to break through key resistance and we have a unicursal um, rally early in the day or overnight to, to gap up on the 12th. But then we, we have a, a month's low on the 13th. So that'll be up until that point, a month's low on the 13th. And I'm advised to buy protection near a high early in the day on the 13th. On the 14th, we have uh, quite a bit of volatility increases with volatility to move forward through the day. On the 17th, an opportunity in the midst of volatility to position oneself in both directions utilizing option spreads. Um, there's a swing trade opportunity in there involving uh, sideways rotation along a key support level on a one day chart. I left out the swing trade opportunity on the 13th um, is the end of a period of sideways rotation marked by a fast sudden move higher. And the 13th, there is a big move to the upside to reach for a distant resistance level out of that trough, uh, month's trough that we see there on the 13th. And, and in the midst of that high is the opportunity to position oneself uh, for, you know, buy some protection or something like that. All right, on the 18th, we have another prominent trough. Um, 
we have a sharp drop through multiple support levels on a, on a one month chart on the 19th and move higher off of a month's trough to through resistance level, stay above it briefly and then we break back down through that same price level. We have another um, month's trough correlator on the 20th where we meet a resistance level and then we break down with increasingly uh, lower spikes up on the way down. On the 21st, selling from near overbought territory on RSI, so it looks like we might have a little crest there after a pretty sharp drop um, throughout that week. On this, we might have a little bit of a, like a crest somewhere there on the early on the on the uh, 21st. But we sell. There's profit taken from near over, uh, excuse me, from overbought territory on RSI. Um, and the day's low there forms when we have a sharp drop, the halting of a bullish trend marked by a decline through key support level on a one-day chart. On the 24th, we attempt to establish support. There's a swing trade opportunity involving uh, involving sideways rotation along a key support level on a, on a one-month chart. On the 25th, we have multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance. On the 26th, we have a sharp decline um, in the midst of some volatility. There is a fast sudden move higher at the end of that volatility um, when we should see a crest here on the 27th, it's really conflicting energies there. But on the 27th, just like on all the other uh, and all the other uh, stocks, I'm seeing highs and low correlated to like somewhere in this week. So I'd say um, there's a high where we move higher through resist. Uh, excuse me. There's a big move higher on the 27th, followed by a full retracement, and that move higher takes us to. Uh, there's like a there's like a crest or a peak there early on the 27th at the end of the 26th or early on the 27th and then we drop pretty hard to another low um, probably at the end of the day on the 27th after a full retracement back down from that big move higher and then on the 28th global decline it continues it's not just at the Starbucks but a global decline on the 28th um, on the 31st, we have more decline and we meet a important support level where um, we have a cash out opportunity as far as our cash out opportunity or, a, or an adjustment opportunity for a trade position. And then again, the sneak preview card for the following month um, is a decline that increases with the momentum moving into the month. That decline offers an opportunity to open up a long position. Uh, that's Starbucks for October 2022, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting the like button. Check out some of our other October predictions. You'll find there's quite a lot of correlations between them. It's very interesting to see that because um, these cards are all pulled randomly. You know, I say randomly because it's like, you know, with psychic intent, you get what you need, you know. Um, but that's uh, that's Starbucks again, guys. Don't forget to um, follow that rule of karma. Super important if you're planning to profit from this information that you follow that rule. Trust me, very important. Um, with that said, guys, I'll see you on the next one.